Today, conditions on Mars are terrible. The atmosphere is ridiculously thin and there is no oxygen. The temperature is way below freezing, the surface is dry and rocky, and to top it all off, there's no water. At least, that's what we used to think. Over the past few months, new theories and discoveries have led us to the staggering conclusion that we might be wrong when we say there's no water on Mars. Water oceans seem to have been found on the Red Planet. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be checking out the Red Planet and the faint possibility that water oceans may be somewhere on the planet. We'll also be talking about what this may mean for our space exploration program and whether this means we could settle on Mars far quicker than we may have imagined. The Mars Water Hypothesis For years, scientists have imagined what it may mean for us if the water used to be on Mars. In fact, in the 18th century, long before the first rocket was built, William Herschel declared that there might be water on Mars. However, by the beginning of the 20th century, astronomers started to accept that Mars wasn't a wet planet by any stretch of the imagination. They began to accept that it was a dry and frigid planet, and there may not be water on it. But even that was mere hypothesis. While many scientists went with the dry Mars theory, others still believed that there was water on the planet. Today, we know for sure that there's water on Mars. But the water on Mars isn't the kind of water here on Earth. For one, almost all the water on the planet exists as ice, so if you're looking for flowing streams of water, you're probably not finding that on Mars. Dry water banks and deltas on the surface of the planet show that water once flowed over the face of Mars. But where did all the water go? How come there's no longer water on Mars, but Earth still has a lot more water than we have any use for? Where did all the water on Mars go? Scientists have pondered over this question for a very long time, and it looks like they may have finally cracked the code. By plugging observations on the Red Planet into new models, a team of geologists and atmospheric scientists have come up with a new picture of Mars past. And this picture is very different from what we used the image the planet was. Much of the ancient waters of Mars may be trapped in the minerals in the Earth's crust, where it still is today. We used to believe that water on Mars escaped to the atmosphere and was stripped away by the radiation from the Sun. However, this new study says that two things happened to the water that used to be on Mars. First, it got stripped away and escaped into the atmosphere through the Sun's radiation. And next, it got trapped within the crust of the red planet itself. So, how much of Mars's water is trapped within the minerals of Mars itself? Well, the model says that the water in the crust of Mars cannot be less than 30% of the water that used to flow above the ground. The study also concluded that as much as 99% of the water that used to be on the surface of the planet may now be trapped underground. If this model is true, it would mean that a lot more water used to be on Mars. It could also mean that Mars used to be an actual blue planet, with water covering up to 60% or more of its surface. This could mean that all the large craters we see on the planet may have been filled with water at some point in the planet's history. Scientists believe that the water that used to be on Mars covered the entire planet and could have been up to 800 feet deep. Of course, that's not too deep when compared to Earth's gigantic oceans, but it's still pretty deep. The sudden disappearance of water on the surface of Mars isn't the only substantive change the Red Planet has gone through in the last few billion years. For example, it used to have a lot more sustainable atmosphere in the past, and this atmosphere made it easier for liquid water to exist on the surface of the planet. However, this atmosphere was stripped away by solar winds around 500 million years after Mars became a planet. While we aren't exactly sure why that happened, scientists believe that the early loss of the planet's protective magnetic field probably played a critical role. Anyway, as the atmosphere of Mars got annihilated or vaporized, it doesn't matter which word we use, about 90% of the water on the planet left with it. This left the water vapor on the planet to be broken up by ultraviolet radiation, making Mars a dehydrated wasteland. 
it's time for our wager. You know the rules, and so do we. We'll tell you a super freaky science fact, and if it freaks you out, you'll give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Charles Osborne spent 68 years of his life hiccuping. As a final screw you from the forces of evil, the hiccup stopped just a year before his death. Did that freak you out? Of course it did. Smash the like and subscribe buttons now. Why didn't we know this before? Well, the reason is simple. We had no idea that Mars's crust could lock up water inside minerals. And even when we knew it, it took a while before we applied that knowledge to Mars modeling. However, immediately after we applied that knowledge, everything began to make sense. It's easy to assume that Mars just recently got this dry and dehydrated, but that's not the truth. While Mars is billions of years old, there's only a short window of about 200 to 500 million years where it could have had these oceans of water on its surface. This means that Mars has been this arid wasteland of sand, rock and volcanoes for most of its lifetime. That's it guys, if you liked this video don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye and remember to study science and we'll keep it super for you.